Hello there, in this video I will build the DIY water level sensor. Insert the resistors and solder them in place. Don't forget to shorten the legs after you're done. Then I added the diodes. When you place the diodes, you have to watch out for their polarity. The little white ring on a diode's body marks the negative side. The white stripe on the PCB has to match the white stripe on the diode. Make sure you put the diodes in the right way around. Just bend the legs with your fingers and then insert the part. Afterwards, solder the diodes in place. Repeat the steps for all other diodes and don't forget to add this fifth one. Afterwards, I added the IC socket. Make sure you match up this little notch on the socket with the notch printed on the PCB. As you can see, the pins on this part got bent during shipment, so it's not possible to insert it right away. Just straighten the pins with your fingers and it should fit right in. Pin down one edge of the socket, check the alignment of the part and if you are happy with it, add solder to all other pins. When this was done, I added the small capacitors. These can go in either way around, so just stick it in and solder it in place. Repeat this process for all the other ones and don't forget to add the smaller one as well. For whatever reason, I thought it would be a good idea to add the relay now. Don't do this, put this part in at the very end and it's going to make your life easier. Afterwards, I added the transistor. On this PCB, the middle leg of the transistor is on the front, so you should bend it with your fingers to make your life easier when inserting the part. This way, it will go in nice and smooth. Afterwards, I added the two screw terminals. These were really easy. You just put them in and solder them in place. Then I did the same with this little white connector. I was not sure which way around it goes in, but it shouldn't matter anyways, as it won't affect the functionality of the kit. Now for the big parts. I added the big electrolytic capacitor afterwards. With this one, you will have to put it in the right way around again. It has this white stripe on one side of the case, which marks the negative side of the cap. You can also see that the cathode is shorter. Just match the white line of the capacitor with the white line on the PCB and solder the part in place. Then I added the LED. Slide it in its place on the PCB and make sure you put the longer leg through the hole that's marked with a little plus symbol on the PCB. Last but not least, I inserted the IC. Just match up the little notch on the IC with the notch on the socket from earlier. Make sure the legs are all straight and not bent and insert it into the socket. And the kit is ready to go. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.